a blessed day to you all my viewers and subscribers welcome back to another video thank you guys for checking this one out all right so tomorrow west indies and south africa they will do battle in the first t20 game of the t20 series so you know how i like to do it here on sports to the bone once we have a game once we have a series starting i like to go through and give my plane 11 and for those who are new to this platform this is not me telling the coach and the captain who should play because i don't have any sort of connection to them and this is not me fighting against anybody that is not from jamaica i keep on repeating these things because i know we get new viewers every time i put out a video right so this is just me looking at the squad and giving my opinion and the comment section will be open so you can go in the comment section and let me know your playing 11. the squad is there for everyone to see so you can agree or you can disagree with my playing 11 and just let me know what you think in the comment section so just to remind you quickly these are the players in the t20 squ um, squad and then i will give you my plane 11 and uh, batting lineup or batting order so ravman Poyle is the captain we have shamar brooks and this is the squad that i am giving you so ravman Poyle, shamar brooks yannick karaya johnson charles shellan cattrell jason hola akil hussein uh, alzari joseph brandon king kyle mayers well, uh, let me not say Obed McCoy anymore because he's out injured. So Rastan Chase is in there for Obed McCoy. Um, Nicholas Puran, Raymond Reefer, Romario Shepard, and Odin Smith. So just to remind you, um, Obed McCoy had to pull out because of injury. And Rastan Chase is now in the squad. So having gone through the squad, let me give you my plane 11. Notice I keep on saying my plane 11 so johnson charles will be opening and johnson charles he's probably one of the most informed t20 openers um that we have in the caribbean right now um he hasn't played in a in a little while because you know the league the the, the um the league that he was playing in i think that one that, that one actually finished but he scored a whole lot of runs so johnson charles will be opening and we're going with the man again kyle mayers the utility player these days um not my you know first choice t20 opener but based on the situation based on what's going on with the squad um i would go with kyle mayers right um so we have johnson charles we have kyle mayers and kyle mayers would have shown that he's capable of opening especially in t20 cricket utilizing the power play and going um hard at the ball so i am not going to say anything bad about kyle mirror's opening uh, i will be honest and say that he's not my first choice when it comes on to opening a, 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 an innings be t20 odi or test but i have to be truth to the fact we would have seen him in a couple of games and he would have gotten us off to good start so um johnson charles and kyle mirrors for those who are wondering how Johnson Charles come back around, as I said, he's one of the most informed openers we have in T20 cricket these days, right, um, in the region. So those are the two. We have Brandon King coming in at number three. This man can bat anywhere from opening, opening spot to number six. But um, you will hear why I have him batting at number three. So Brandon King is there. He will be expected to try and anchor the innings to play that role where you try and get at least um in the middle over get a get you know tick the ball around when the spinners are on still has the ability to go over the fence has the ability to play the ball on the ground well also so brandon king is there and at number three at number four we have the new captain um ravman powell this guy would have proven in the last couple of t20s for us that he is um serious about his cricket he has grown leaps and bounds you understand we would have seen him in the odi game 
uh, what, what, what was it? Was it the second one or the third one where it got to start but wasn't able to kick on? You understand? But we would have seen some mature knocks from him um, recently. So he is holding out the number four. And as much as oh, I hate to say it, but Puran will be batting at number five. I always say that somebody like a Nicholas Puran um, needs to be batting higher but he, based on his, on his ability. But based on what he has shown over the last, well, over the all of the T20 games recently, he would have proven to me that, listen, I don't want that sort of responsibility to come and anchor in the innings or to bat and carry. I want to come in, in the middle over to the back end of the game in, and, 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 and probably swing as, as hard as I can for as long as I can. And generally speaking, if Puran stays there for a little while, he will get the runs. And um, one of the thing, things about Puran batting at number five also is if we lose a couple of early wickets, then at least Puran will be there in the middle overs and he has the ability to rotate the strike. Uh, as much as how Puran likes to go after everything, you understand, he has the ability to rotate. So if rotate, so if the needs be, then we expect him to do that. So Puran would be at five. At number six, we have Jason Hola. So another, um, he's the next all-runner in the team. We already have Kyle Mears. So Jason Hola is there to do what Jason Hola um, is always going to do. And the number seven slot, I, I was wrestling a little bit um, as it relates to who I play. Um, Odin Smith got the ODI games. I, you know, so I, I'm thinking Romario Shepard can get a chance. Um, my only issue with Romario Shepard playing is they need to know when to bowl him. I cannot bowl him in the power play, um, in the in the or I can't bowl him in the in the latter stages of the innings over over 16 and, and, and back. So there's a big problem because in the middle overs you still cannot get it, you still cannot bowl him three overs straight or four overs straight. That is asking for a for a player to be hit. So we're going if I'm going to trust him, I am going to trust that. He will come and give me two good overs here and then probably give me two good overs somewhere else. And we have the likes of Kyle Mears who, who can do something. You understand? Um, Ravman Poyle would have done some bowling recently. As much as oh, it seems as if he's playing as a specialist batsman, but he's there. Um, so he Shepard gets in. And that is number seven. Number eight now is another debated, debatable one. You understand, I have um, Karaya in there. And uh, I know people are going to say if I didn't see how he get hit in the ODI games, but in the ODI game, but um, the, I need somebody to play to, 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 I need another spinner. So I need another spinner in the team. I already have Pacers. I'm going, I'm going to tell you the seamers. So Karaya would be there, right? And then we have Akil Hussein, um, Azari Joseph, and Sheldon Cottrell. You understand? Cottrell, you must be wondering why am I going with this man still. He's over the hill, he's up there in age. But um, Cottrell, the last couple of T20 leagues, well, the last T20 league that, that, that I saw Cottrell in, he was really doing well. So Cottrell is there and he would be doing um, the work for, with Alzari Joseph. Usually one of those guys that you ask to get your wickets up front. So his first two overs are usually good. You usually get a wicket or two in the first two overs. The problem is when he comes back to bowl his next his, his final two overs. More often than not, he, he will travel. You understand? Um, but I, 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 I have him there. So that, that's what the list is, that's what the team is looking like. So now you understand why I play career. So Johnson Charles, Kyle Mears, Brandon King, Powell, Poor and Hola, Shepard, Career, Hussein, Joseph, and Cottrell. So based on the squad, Shell, um, Shamar Brooks would, 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 would not play. Um, Rastan Chase would not play. Raymond Reefer would not play. And um, who, who else we have there? Raymond Reefer and uh, somebody else is, is, is missing. Yeah. Uh, well, Obed Makai isn't there. So though, on Odin Smith. So that is my playing, um, playing 11, as I said earlier. This is not me predicting or trying to guess what team will be played. This is just me telling you what team I would play. So we're going to leave it right there. I will be in the comment section to take a look at what you guys have to say about it. Sports to the bone.
keeping you informed. Big up.